podcast, we talked about uh, rate cap escrows, uh, people on floating rate debt having to replace their interest rate caps. Um, you know, last year they they were kind of an afterthought. They weren't that expensive. Um, but yeah, you'd have to escrow, you know, a couple thousand, and then beginning of this year you got notices, you know, maybe up to thirty thousand or more. And now some of these rate cap escrows, you know, could be one point two million dollars for a year, so you could have to escrow a hundred thousand dollars a month. Kind of go over the rate cap escrows and what people should be seeing out there. Yeah, so a lot of the Fannie Freddie loans that were on floating rate, they they're ten year loans. But when you close, you only bought a three year rate cap. So let's say you bought a three-year rate cap, it was $50,000, and at the end of three years, you have to replace it. So similar to, let's say, property tax escrow or insurance escrow, they want you to escrow monthly. And every six months or 12 months, they're checking that escrow and saying, all right, how much is it? And now that SOFR has gone up so much, federal funds has gone up so much, those interest rate cap escrows are very expensive. So a two-year cap might be 5% of the loan amount. So let's take a $20 million deal at 5%, that's a million dollars. So you need a million dollars in your escrow at the end of three years. Well, you've only been escrowing like 2,000 a month, and so 2,000 a month times 24, is not that much money. It's not so, going to move the needle. Yeah, it's not that much. So you still have to escrow. Over the last 12 months, you need to escrow 800000 or 900000 So your escrow is going to go up significantly on a monthly basis. And a lot of these properties, imagine um, you know, you got a $20 million loan and your interest rate's 5% right now uh, because your interest rate is, is capped. You might only be paying a million dollars a year in interest. And now you've got this rate cap escrow that is also about a million dollars a year. So um, a lot of people, some properties can handle that, but most can't. And so what's gonna happen is the general partnership's gonna have to start coming out of pocket. You might get a a knock on the door if you're an LP uh, for a capital call to handle this. Uh, You know, we've talked to some general partners and some of them have flipped over to a fixed rate product Uh, with maybe a step down or shorter yield maintenance to get rid of this escrow and just sort of set the um, interest rate for now and then uh, refi later or um, sell later with just a step down prepay. 2023, year of the refi. 